coral reefs are nature's spectacle. They are found in seas and ocean beds around the world. And these collections of coral algae and mollusks, mollusks support 25% of all marine life. But human activities have put their existence in danger. Bleaching, which is among the most adverse effect of human activities on coral reefs, have substantially affected marine life. Our next report adds hope to the gloomy situation. Take a look. This Dubai-based coral farm is using an innovative process to restore dying reefs. Called assisted evolution, it involves farm managers taking care of coral microfragments to speed up and strengthen the growth of the reefs. The goal is to make the coral reefs resilient to climate change. Some species are growing very fast and the other one is a little bit slower than others. So in terms um, of making the coral grow, they can grow in 6 months, 12 months, 24, depend on the species. Ahmad Hamdi is monitoring the growth of the corals collected last November. The corals are placed in four tanks and fragmented into tiny pieces before fusing them together. Ahmad says this helps the sea creatures grow 50 times faster. We actually controlling the environment which is uh, providing uh, the coral um, a strength to become more resilient against uh, climate change. So with this system, which is closed loop system, we can control the temperatures and the light intensity, the waves. So we're creating an environment which makes the coral more stronger than normal so they can be, uh, they can survive actually in the ocean. Coral farms like these are present all over the world. Some even offer people a chance to adopt corals and finance their growth. The restoration of coral reefs starts long before we ever build a farm or even think about getting in the water to go observe the reefs. It starts with developing relationships with the local communities, with the local governments, and understanding what are the needs, what are the challenges that that specific um, geography is faced with. As we uncover those needs, then we start to learn about the reefs themselves. The United Nations Environment Program says without drastic action to limit global warming, by 2050, live corals on reefs may decrease by 70 to 90 percent. Bureau Report, Vion Wonders Wonder.